I was completely and utterly stuck. I had hit a frustrating plateau in my fitness journey that felt impossible to break through. All the hours I spent in the gym, all the meticulous tracking of every single macronutrient, and every biohack I tried seemed to yield nothing but mediocre results. It was a stagnation that was rapidly draining my motivation. I started to question my entire approach to health and longevity. My blood work was technically fine, but it was certainly not optimal. Key markers like my free testosterone were declining. Even more dishearteningly, my endogenous growth hormone GH production was trending downward. This made recovery harder after intense workouts. My sleep felt less restorative. That lean, hard look I constantly chased seemed perpetually out of reach. I tried every conventional method. I experimented with high-intensity interval training protocols specifically designed to spike GH. I even used expensive peptides, which gave me temporary boosts. But those felt like cheating and were neither sustainable nor truly natural. I also dabbled in extended water fasts. I pushed them to 48 and sometimes even 72 hours. These fasts offered a noticeable but ultimately limited benefit. They cleared the mental fog and reset my digestion somewhat. However, they never delivered the dramatic, systemic overhaul I truly needed. I felt like I was forever chasing that youthful vitality. I missed that sense of effortless recovery and boundless energy from my early 20s. And before we dive deeper into this game-changing protocol, I have a request for you. If you want to follow my daily protocols, see behind-the-scenes data and get exclusive. Real-time tips on maximizing your own fasting and hormone strategies, make sure you join the Telegram channel right now. The link is conveniently located in the description below this video. I share crucial things there that I simply cannot share on this public platform. So please pause this video and join the community. Back to the wall I hit. I spent months reading deeply into fringe science, I poured over research papers on hormesis, stress-induced adaptation, and cellular repair. This intense investigation led me repeatedly to the compelling yet intimidating research on dry fasting. A water fast is undeniably a challenge, uh, but a dry fast, the complete abstinence from both food and water, felt like an extreme measure. It was a leap into a realm of physiological stress I wasn't sure my body could responsibly handle. For those who are new to this concept, dry fasting is about maximizing the body's internal resources. It forces the body to generate its own metabolic water by aggressively burning fat. This process is incredibly clean and efficient. Crucially, it induces a state of intense osmotic stress. This is a state of controlled cellular dehydration. Counterintuitively, this controlled stress is the absolute key to the breakthrough. That osmotic stress signals a profound, urgent need for cellular repair and conservation. That signal, that critical, life-preserving alarm, is the single most critical shift that changed everything for me. My shift wasn't merely doing a dry fast. It was an understanding and applying the principle of maximal, controlled osmotic stress to trigger a hormonal cascade. This cascade is far beyond what a simple water fast can achieve. I started extremely cautiously. I moved from my standard 24-hour water fast to a much more challenging 24-hour dry fast. The difference in terms of mental clarity was immediate and profound. The real, life-altering magic, however, began when I pushed that boundary further. I moved to a 36-hour, complete dry fast. This specific duration, for my physiology, proved to be the Goldilocks zone. It was the precise point where the cellular signals shifted from routine maintenance to a full-scale massive overhaul. The body, recognizing it had no external source of hydration, went into full-blown crisis management mode. This state activated its deepest, most powerful repair and recycling mechanisms. This is precisely where the growth hormone GH floodgates open. Decades of research have established that fasting is a potent stimulator of GH. This surge helps preserve lean muscle mass while the body efficiently incinerates fat for fuel. But the added layer of osmotic stress from the dry fast elevates this response exponentially. The intense stress state combined with the lack of hydration sends a staggeringly powerful signal to the pituitary gland. It's a signal so strong that it forces an acute surge in GH release. I was meticulous in tracking my results. I used rigorous before and after blood tests. These tests were conducted under a standardized protocol to ensure accuracy. 
After successfully completing my 36-hour dry fasts, which I applied consistently once a week over a six-week period, my blood work confirmed what I had hoped. The results were absolutely jaw-dropping. My tests showed a staggering increase, a 300% boost in circulating growth hormone compared to my pre-fasting baseline. 300%. Let that number sink in. This was not a minor adjustment to my routine. This was a complete, measurable, physiological rebellion against stagnation. The felt effects were just as dramatic as the numbers, perhaps even more so. My sleep became unbelievably deep. It was the kind of sleep where you wake up feeling genuinely rebuilt and regenerated, not just rested. My muscle definition sharpened significantly, almost overnight. I call it the shrink wrap effect. The skin tightens up snugly against the muscle structure. This is a clear visual sign of aggressive body recomposition and reduced systemic water retention. But the deepest, most enduring benefit was the sheer, undeniable surge in discipline and resilience. Successfully mastering a 36-hour dry fast teaches you a level of mental fortitude that translates directly into every other area of your life. You quickly learn that the body's constant cries for water are often just entrenched habits, not true physiological emergencies. You gain incredible sovereign confidence in your own body's power to heal, sustain, and regenerate itself. Now, I must deliver a massive and non-negotiable disclaimer here. Dry fasting is an extreme protocol and is absolutely not for everyone. You must, I repeat, you must consult with a qualified healthcare professional before attempting any form of extended dry fasting. You need to understand your own baseline health. Start with shorter water fasts first. Learn to listen intently to your body's subtle signals. Never, under any circumstances, push past the point of safety or extreme discomfort. The entire goal here is hormesis. This is controlled, beneficial stress that forces adaptation, not self-harm or recklessness. But for me, this single shift, the strategic move from the plateaued benefits of water fasting to the profound, deep cleaning cellular stress of the dry fast was the missing key. It finally unlocked a hormonal environment that fostered unparalleled recovery. It turbocharged my fat metabolism, and yes, it demonstrably boosted my endogenous growth hormone by a factor of three. This was not achieved with a synthetic supplement. It wasn't a pharmaceutical drug, certainly wasn't a quick fix injection. This was purely leveraging my body's own ancient survival-based mechanisms to achieve a state of optimal health. It has proven to be the single most powerful tool I have ever implemented into my personal biohacking regimen. It required discipline, meticulous planning, and a deep, abiding respect for the human body's limits and incredible power. But the return on that investment, the dramatic return in vitality and measurable hormonal health has been completely immeasurable. I now strategically incorporate this 36 hour critical shift into my routine. I use it as a powerful systemic reset button whenever I feel myself slipping back into any kind of rut. It is a sovereign and free method for staying mentally sharp, physically lean, and hormonally optimized. Remember the critical distinction that makes this work. The shift is the move to controlled, maximal osmotic stress. This is what forces that massive, beneficial GH spike. This powerful technique is what separated me from the millions of people stuck on plateaus. It allowed me to finally shatter that stubborn ceiling and step into a new realm of health and physical performance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being a committed part of this incredible community. And thank you for engaging with this intense but deeply rewarding journey toward total health sovereignty. If this content provided you with significant value, insight, or motivation for your own health journey, please take a moment to consider contributing. You can do so easily by using the thanks button located directly below this video player. Every single contribution you make, no matter how small the amount, is deeply appreciated by me and is critically important to the sustainability of this channel. Your support directly ensures that I can continue to dedicate the considerable time and financial resources needed to research, test, and share these powerful life-changing biohacks with all of you.